Welcome to Nicholas LMNX12. Today I'll be comparing the new NVIDIA GTX 1070 with the previous generation GTX 970 GPU. Now though the naming scheme says the GTX 1070 is the 970 successor, I wouldn't necessarily say so. However, people have asked for this comparison, so there you have it. Since the GTX 1070 unfortunately isn't fully available yet, we can't really compare prices here. But one thing's certain, the GTX 970 is a lot cheaper. That alone is the evidence by Nvidia themselves, the GTX 1070 isn't the 970 successor. But prices aside, how big is the performance gap? Let's take a look at the benchmarks. Without any doubt, and that does not come as a surprise at all, the GTX 1070 is the way better performer. Again, not a surprise at all. The new, more powerful GPU simply is better in every possible way, except pricing maybe. Especially at higher resolutions, such as 1440p in my case, there is a very noticeable difference between these two GPUs. But then again, I'm not a fan of the idea comparing these two models against each other. After all, we all know they aren't meant to be compared. The temperatures are fine on both models, although I've only been testing the reference design here today. One of the things that impressed me the most is the fantastic power efficiency of Nvidia's new 60 nanometer Pascal GPUs. Despite the GTX 1070 offering so much more performance than a 970, it even consumes a bit less power. That alone is quite amazing, at least to me since I care a lot about power consumption. As for video memory, the 1070 is equipped with a total of 8GB of GDDR5 VRAM, the GTX 970 only with half of it, 4GB. However, practically by now we know we are only getting 3.5 gigabytes of fast memory here. While that's still enough for now, I doubt you'll be making it in the long run with games evolving so quickly, needing more and more VRAM these days. So both are very good graphics cards, no doubt. But also very different ones and mainly not really ones meant to be compared with each other. It's a different performance slash price range. So what are your opinions on this? Let me know yours down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos the year earlier.